Hello everybody and good morning. It is uh, 3 a.m. and I am up super early in order to join my uh, friends in the Inkscape pro project who are all meeting together in Nuremberg. Um, I can't travel at the moment so I'm actually in the United States on the East Coast and uh, I'm joining them remotely. So in order to prepare, I, uh, I slept in yesterday so I could get a bit of extra sleep and I have prepared myself some tea uh, really, really strong, nice tea. And uh, I'm just waiting now for everybody to get into the uh, rented space that they have in Nuremberg and set up the um, uh, a screen share. What's, it's not a screen share, what is it? Remote conferencing software. You can tell I'm still a bit tired even though uh, I, I had that extra sleep. Um, so yeah, let's see how things get on today. Okay, so things are starting up. You can see the conference room here, and you can see that they actually have two cam cameras and, and a screen projecting uh, remote participants, which is great. Uh, some people haven't arrived yet, so we're not going to do introductions, but uh, you know, we'll. Uh... <laughs> that's an embroidery. Um, that's that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Up, nice. So some some participants couldn't join, um, although they really wanted to. Um, people are going to collect themselves, and I'll come back in in a minute. Okay. Okay. So the next thing that's being sorted out is uh, some design. We have um, Mykov and Adam and uh, Raphael. And they're all pretty good about uh, doing designs for Inkscape and um, widgets and various other things. So obviously this is a great opportunity to be able to talk together in a physical space. And um, yeah, we're gonna see what they come up with. And um, yeah, this, this kind of event is always very interesting for um, being able to like plan things uh, in a very material way, you know, you can get whiteboards out, you can get uh, mm -hmm. paper out, you can actually start sketching things out together uh, and really sort of bounce ideas from each, each other. So now it's actually um, work time. Uh, we're going to spend some time uh, fixing some bugs and uh, having a look through other people's work. And um, yeah, that's kind of, kind of what this day will be. It'll be discussions and then there'll be some work. And then maybe we'll work together and then we'll maybe talk again about some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> hello, uh, I'm doing a, a recording. Say say hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I'm going to publish a video. So do you, did you guys travel a long way? Yes. Yeah. Martin, you're frozen, by the way. Uh, I I know, I know. I can't I can't record a video at the same time as doing the the web the webcam. <laughs> so apparently, I am not uh, able to be heard very well because they don't have a speaker. <laughs> The uh, the sun is starting to come up. It's uh, it's now five a.m. So uh, the day is truly started. Um, they're discussing lunch, which makes me feel a little sad because I, I won't get to uh, have fun and social time. That is um, quite important for this kind of event. If you've never been to a free and open source conference type thing, um, a lot of it is socializing and getting to know each other. Um, but it looks like we have almost almost everybody here. It looks like there are three people who I think were registered and who are not here yet. Uh, it's now getting quite light outside. I just had a really interesting meeting with uh, Raphael. Um, he wants to improve the quality of Inkscape by developing a, a more robust test suite. Um, one of the areas of Inkscape that's particularly vulnerable to problems is the live path effects system. Um, not only uh, are, are a lot of bugs in, in extant in the live path effects system, but trying to fix problems actually causes a lot of issues as well. Um, it's not particularly well 
architected and the maintenance has uh, resulted in uh, the code getting worse over time, unfortunately. Part of this is the lack of testing and automated testing specifically. And so Raphael has a plan for introducing more unit testing and being able to like require testing, um, require test writing for merge requests. Um, I am in full agreement. Uh, when I rewrote the extensions uh, many years ago, uh, it took two years to, for, to, to do that refactoring work. And part of it was writing an entire test suite um, simply because it's it's critical to be able to to, to get a handle on the uh, code quality. Uh, today, the extensions are one of the most well-tested parts of Inkscape. And while there are still some issues, those issues tend to crop up with things that are not directly related to the Python code itself. Things like uh, JPEG support recently broke had nothing to do with Python, had everything to do with the packaging, uh, which isn't in the test suite. So um, yeah, this is, was a really good exercise, even though I'm away from the um, meeting room. Um, they're gonna have another meeting this afternoon to talk about the full agenda for the week. And uh, I can't wait to participate into that as well. Okay, until next time. <laughs> so it's about 8 a.m. and um, we're currently going through the agenda meeting for the um, the rest of the week. Uh, people need to be able to communicate what it is that they're going to be working on um, for, for their time. And so uh, basically people need to work on the sort of uh, overviews of what they're going to work on or present. And then hopefully the people that are most interested in that topic will be able to talk um, during the, the rest of their time and organize better uh, once they know what everybody is interested in. Um, it's usually a very animated discussion, um, which is why uh, we like to have a, things written down. Uh, that's why I'm recording this in Big Blue Button for the video conferencing. So we have a record of it. And um, yeah, it, it, it can sometimes be difficult not to get into the details and in, into the weeds. Um, but keeping things to the general overview is basically what you want, because there's plenty of time in the rest of the, the summit to um, basically get into the weeds uh, with the specific individuals that are interested. Okay, let's get back. Okay, so it's half past eight. Um, they're wrapping up the me meeting now. And uh, they're basically going to write a chart out of all of the topics and all of the people who are interested in them, just to keep things organized. Um, there's a couple more hours left for today, but I may process these videos now. Um, the rest of the day is pretty much going to be involved with people talking about these topics and then figuring out what their priorities are for the actual work that they want to do. Um, I'll probably be working on book fixing, and at the same time, listening in to people and what they are working on. Um, mostly so I can do the, the project leadership stuff. Um, but thank you for watching this overview of the Nuremberg event, um, tracked by me remotely. And um, yeah, I hope to see you ne next time in one of my update videos. Bye.